What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? We right here. We live. We in Laf Lafayette, Louisiana, over here in the Truman District. This is the first owned. This is the first oldest owned black uh, black owned business right here in the state of Louisiana. Of not the state of Louisiana, but right here in Lafayette, Louisiana. What's going on YouTube? We got we got to get a hundred uh a hundred a hundred at least a hundred fifty to a hundred live subscribers before I go inside. I got an OG right here. He wants to tell the story. This is a black owned business right here. We Lafayette, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? We right here. We in the we in the trenches. This is this is a well known high crime rate. What's up, Big Nino? Share this for me, Big Dog. So we're gonna go inside and talk to the, the store owner. How you doing, brother? Good, good. What's going on, baby? All right. So, so uh, where we at right now? Truman, neighborhood grocery store. Truman. Yeah, yeah. All right. N nice to meet you. I appreciate you having us here. So you were saying earlier, earlier, this is one of the oldest black-owned businesses in this area. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a blessing. Kenyana, Kenyana. Okay. You think you turn the music down a little bit so I can hear you? Yeah. If you can, yeah, I appreciate that. So the smooth, the, the food smells delicious already. We do, man. We have a cooking a soft pack, man. It's called a, a marinade we have. It's, a, it consists of pork, it's a pork ribs, okay. pork balsam butt, some smoke, uh, smoke sauces. Okay. Uh, smoke turkey neck, smoke bones, uh, smoke pork bones. You know, some good. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. Ooh yeah, man. It's the South, so, so if they over here in Lafayette, where can they find you guys if they want to come, come get some home, um, some good home cooked food? We have a community called Truman. Truman Community. Right here on uh, 300 Garden Street, Lafayette. Okay, it's called Truman the Community? Yes, yeah, Truman Community. Okay, and you guys cook something new every day? Or are you guys... Oh, man, every day. Every day? Every day we do something, uh, something special, you know? We keep it simple. Um, keep it simple, have a... Very special. If, if you could say one thing about this area, your community specifically, positive, what would you say? You guys are like, are you guys like family out here? You guys like look out for each other if, yeah, man, you, if know, you see a young man down or something like that? Know, this is the most misunderstood community. Explain that. It's the oldest community ever. Sometimes the negative get more speaking than the, the positive. So just with that said, being that we are a society that's feeling negative, we tend to see that and overlook the good of the community. Right. And anybody who comes here and really checks us out, you know that we look out for each other and it's not what the hype could be at times. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, uh, that's a, a community. It's good people. Good people. I even hear from, from California that Lafayette can kind of get dangerous at some times. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. it's uh, like any other place at this time. You know, it's a hype of a, of a miscommunication between the youngsters at the end of the day. You know, a lot of just young violence that we uh, It is. It is different from what we've been in the past. Right. It's just miscommunication. I'll be honest, it's just not a miscommunication. Just miscommunication. You think it's a little bit of ego and maybe all, all that stuff too? Yeah, somebody disrespects each other. All they don't know how to take it. They don't know how to respond. It's all about how you respond. Right, right. So, we gotta just take, take our time like we try to do like we're doing in this community. We are teaching each other how to, how to respond to situations. You know, it's a... Exactly, it's exactly. Exactly. Now, what's, what's Lafayette known for? Like the food? What's... Creole, man. Creole, oh, Creole? So look, man, it's just, we have Cajun and you have Creole, you know? Okay. Creole is that's essentially with black folks, you know? Okay. So, and that's what, that's what, we, that's what we're known for, this Creole, Creole cooking, you know, we're Creole country right here. Creole country? Yes, indeed. Got that's, you. That's where you're at. I never, I never had some Creole food. I'm for sure gonna order a plate before I leave, though. Yeah, I never had no Creole food, no real, real from Louisiana. Man, you authentic, bro. You hit a jackpot, baby. Oh, is that right? <laughs> now, do you own the, bar the barbershop too? Yeah, we own the barbershop also. Okay, okay. I, uh, the youngster was telling me he's going, he was trying to holler at you about a chair. Yeah, you know, buy a barbershop. This is all about. This is a place where people come to get things, you know, good things. You want to start off, you want to be, he's a barber, so you want a chair for his, his, his clients. Right. You have a chair in the back, you're trying to get him going, you know? Okay, that's what's up. I love you that. You have to be on the streets. You got, you got to work. Exactly. You got to work. You got to get that money. Do something, you know? And that's what this place is. It's been this place for, for over 50 years where people come here to get their food. You know, help. How long have you been ownership? I know not 50 years, though, right? Yeah. I'm the third owner. Your third owner? Okay, okay. I've been here only 10 months. 
Ten months? Oh, so you just started. You just started. Yeah, we doing light renovations. You see that? Right. The freezers only. One year ago, the freezers were not standard freezers. There was freezers on the ground. Okay. There was chest freezers, so it's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's, it's, it's been, been a lot. Look, look how real it is, man. This just came off the wall. Oh, really? This just came off the wall. Old school right there, huh? <laughs> so work with me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> but you're getting it together, though. Yeah, that's what it is. Man. And they're going to come support, you know? They're going to come support when they see this video? Yes, man. I know they're going to And they're going to tap in? Let me just say it like this. Home is where the heart is. Right. They can call it whatever they want, but when they come here, they're family. Right. Exactly. And they are family. That's what it's going to be. Home is where the heart is. You right about that? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna go walk around, talk to the gentleman outside. They waiting for me right now. I'll be right back, OG. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna go out here. How's my reception? Uh, how's my reception going, YouTube? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, walk around over here, so y'all can see a little bit of the community. You know, I'm just giving y'all real life. Hey, how you doing? There you are right there. Yeah. What up? Yeah, Don. Right. This area came a judge. This area came a, a colonel in the Air Force. Okay. It came, uh, see the house right here across from my house? The blue one? Uh, yeah, blue one is Buckwheat. You ever heard of Buckwheat? Buckwheat. Uh, he went all over the world. Uh, Buckwheat, uh, Zydeco Band. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of history right here. Right. You know, we, uh, 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 see it? See, uh, band came from here over here too, and uh, Dope C band came over here. I'm a jazz player. Okay. I'm a jazz keyboard player, so a lot of musicians, a lot of famous people in this area, but they always want to put it down, you know? Right. But that's okay. That's you one know? thing Louisiana is known for is the strong, strong black culture, the jazz culture, the new, right. the, definitely the food culture. Right. It smells delicious in there. Yeah, I got some chicken wings I'm going to bring to them right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Right. And I noticed something too. The little young guys when they come with old school in the seventies, we come by old people. We adapt. Say, how you doing, old? You know, how you doing, sir, and everything else. But you know, this is the last day, so you're gonna be like that. So, mm -hmm. No respect, no, no nothing, no honor. They say the young, the youngsters right now are are feeling like they run everything type. You know, because the young, all the youngsters got all the money right now. Generation Z is the worst. I come with baby boomers. And the generation alpha look like the next generation coming out look like they're highly intelligent. But the uh, gen Duh, generation right Z, here, that's the one cutting up. Yes, sir. So, so I love this community. Everyone's really tight. Everyone so knows each other. Does, does everybody look out for each other? Yeah, it used to be like that. Yeah. In the 60s, and 70s, but it, you know, everything changed. Put yeah. Time, come change. Thermod all thermodynamics and the second power, everything decays. You know, everything changed. So, so if you could say one thing about Lafayette, Louisiana, the Truman area, one thing positive, what would you say? And you were born and raised here, correct? Correct, correct. So this is the hardest, hardest home is where the heart is at, huh? Right. Yeah. I know it's this. It's not, it's not where you're from. It's not where you've been. It's not your nationality. It's not everything you could think. It's your heart. Exactly. Your heart. Exactly. If your heart, if your heart, and the people, the Bible says, the heart is just for the wicked who who could know it but a lot of times we grow up god give us with mor morality and we know the conscience so we know what's right and wrong. exactly so a lot of, a lot of, when i grew up here the whole village raised us okay you, you get whipped your daddy mama whip you right the, you know respect for your elders very you know I, I, nigeria africa is something like that i went to Ghana and South Africa. I like that. You respect for your elders. So, so that you honor thy father and mother if you want to live a long life. The new generation, the new generation ain't brought up like that though, huh? That's no, what I, I think. Know. That's what's breaking a lot of oh, of no. society, our culture, you know. And the you know, youngsters are so brainwashed by music and right, right, and what right, they see on right, TV right, and YouTube. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to give everybody a voice, you know. Right, right. Yeah? So you said this is like a brotherhood right here. Yeah, used to be. Used to be. Okay, got yeah, you. Yeah, got yeah. you. But you remember, like I told you before, Second Timothy, the third chapter, we live in the last days. This is dangerous time. People are lovers of their own self. 
proud, boastful, disobedient to parents, unfaithful, unholy, false accusers, incompetent, fear. But you could see it all around you. Mm -hmm. And look like last night when I looked like the night was getting darker. Looked like it was getting darker. So was everybody at? It's it's a little early. It's like yeah, what, it's ten o'clock is. Yeah, yeah. I started I started my live a little early, but I'm gonna be here for a while. Hopefully, some people pull up. They can tell their stories. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I appreciate you tapping in with me, OG. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna buy you anything you want. What you want? Uh, Some nah, drink, nah. Water? I take a water if anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I take a water. Yeah, absolutely, OG. Appreciate you. Yeah. I'm gonna go walk to this corner because they want to see the corner real quick. Okay. They want to see how it. The... I'm not going nowhere. Okay. All right. So we right here in the uh. We right here in the heart of the Truman area in Lafayette, Louisiana. Now, if you don't know, this is one of the it's treacherous right here, you know what I'm saying? It, it could get wild at times, but the reason why I came a little early so we don't get wild so I can break the ice. So when people pull up, I'm already here. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of the neighborhood real quick. Show you a little bit of the neighborhood real quick, man. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, man, at least leave a comment. We right here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Now you see how some of the houses look? Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at that. This don't look nothing like California, right? Nothing like California. Lafayette, Louisiana. There's a lot of hospitality right here, man. There's a lot, of, and this is a real black community too. Real black community. I'm gonna walk over here real quick. I'm gonna show y'all what these people is doing. <laughs> Good morning. How you guys doing? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm vlogging. I come from California, vlogging uh, Lafayette. Yeah. I go across different cities and states, right. and I use my my viral platform. I got a big platform, and I give people a voice, like youngsters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you, bro, bro. I'm the same. I, I drive trucks for a living, so it's the same way with me. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How you doing? You working too? Uh -huh. You work too? Yeah. I'm yeah. Okay. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah, I like that. Where I'm from in Cali, we don't see people like us doing this type of work. No. Nah, I hate to say it, but it'd be like white boys and yeah. Mexicans, you know? Yeah, exactly. So it's a blessing for me to see the difference from Cali to right here. Right. Yeah, it's a blessing, bro. It's a lot of culture. It's a lot of culture, a lot of hospitality out here. Yeah, it is. It is, bro. And where I'm from, is like, you, you can't do it, just walk down there. They're going to be like, where you from? Woo -woo. Right? And here, at least they like, they, they show you love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep doing what y'all doing, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, OG. I like that beer. Yes, sir. <laughs> that one fucking nice. See right here. Yeah, bro. I, I love it, bro. Like I hear, like nothing against where we from. Nothing against, nothing against that. But you do see a lot of city workers that are white and hispanic you know what i'm saying you got some black city workers but right here you're gonna see all black workers all black city workers all black police all black everything i'm coming to virginia bro bro i'm for sure coming to virginia i'm coming to virginia i'm going everywhere i'm going everywhere every major city i'm going to you feel me sure report yeah hey hit me on my instagram bro bro hit me on my instagram Lock in with me and I'll come I'll come vlog with you. Yeah, I got you, bro. Blake, hit me on my Instagram right now. We're gonna lock that in, bro. I'm in Louisiana. I'm in Louisiana right now. You know, we don't want to miss that opportunity. It's gonna be a good opportunity to see all black on. What up, bro, bro? All right, all right. Bro, I came, I drove this from California for you guys. Right, this is for my subscribers. You guys can see every part of the city, every part of the state, every part of the country. You know what I'm saying? So, man, just give me a like, bro. That's all I need. You don't got to buy nothing from me to keep the channel going. Just give me a like. Just give me a good like. I'm going to go back in the store and chop it up. You guys want me to walk around a little bit so you can see the community? I'm going to walk around a little bit so y'all can see the community. <sighs> now, everything is real black owned. So, this is the oldest black own liquor store in in uh lafayette louisiana this is it's been black owned for 50 years 
black on for 50 years. I'm going to go out talk to OG real quick over here. What up, young man? How you doing, brother? This is my first time out here. I'm loving it. Bro, I love it out here, brother. You mind if I talk to you? I'm from California. Yeah, so I'm out here just like showing different parts of the communities. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my subscribers and followers don't get a chance to see anything outside of Kelly. So they're loving this right now. Yeah, you born and raised in uh, Lafayette? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, brother? All right, good, good. I'm just getting a little vlog. It's my first time in Lafayette, and I love it. It's my first time in Lafayette. I'm all the way from California. I had to get some footage, man. I had to show my people how it is. It's real culture out here. You know what I'm saying? You don't get this where I'm from in Cali. Like, right here, everything is black-owned. Man, I love it, brother. I love it. I'm in heaven. I like seeing, I like seeing this. I'm like, I'm at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel comfortable. I feel like I walk them. Like, the hospitality here is great. In Cali, they're going to be like, where you from, nigga? Woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I hear it's, it's, it's perfect. If you could say one thing about Lafayette, positive, what would you say, brother? Is it like a brotherhood that people look out for each other over here? Yeah. yeah. You finna move back? Oh, you just moved here? Oh, two years ago, where'd you come from? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, what was this the Truman area? Yeah. They call it Truman? Hell yeah. Was everybody here or is it still a little bit early? Yeah. It's early, huh? <laughs> now, what I'm doing, is it dangerous walking right here by myself? I'm good? It's not like LA, huh? They, niggas ain't gonna like try to get me? Okay, for sure. For sure, for sure. I like, I like the color, though. Drifty, yup. Yeah. Hell yeah, I appreciate y'all talking to me, man. For sure. Now, now, wh wh where were you at? If you right here, what high school would you go to? If, if you live right here, what high school would they send you to? Oh, is that right? Yeah. And, then, and then the elementary, same thing? Oh, that's Truman Elementary? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you got grandkids? You don't even look that old, OG. <laughs> 56? Oh, for sure, man. You look good for 56. Each time I'm doing the same. I'm enjoying my day, man. I, I love I love what I do. It's my first. I, I specifically travel across the country just to do this. You know what I'm saying? I give people a voice, you know? Yeah, a lot of a lot of youngsters do music, and they love shouting out their music. A lot of youngsters do hair, and they love getting in front of the camera because it gets them a lot of business. Mm-hmm. Y'all collect hands? So if I, if I would have came a little later, it would have been active out here, huh? Oh, yeah, I appreciate you, OG. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate you. Cheers. Cheers. What does that mean? French. French? Also, I hear I hear you guys speak a lot of French, huh? Creole, Creole. Creole, so it's called Creole. Creole, yeah. Creole. Oh, so that's interesting. So we don't we don't out there in Cali and in the West Coast is just strictly English, and nobody speaking no other language. You might have a Haitian or something that speaks Spanish, yeah. But other than that, French. oh French, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. We when I was young, my grandmother speaks French, Creole to me, and I understand every word she said. So Creole is like broken uh, French and a little English. How do black how do black people end up how do blacks out here in the south ended up speaking French? What is the history? You gotta study the history of uh, Louisiana. They uh, had it by the French, I think. And uh, it's, it's still the French culture. And when, when I went to France to enjoy you trying to speak French. Right. Because I could the brokenness, I can kind of understand some words if it don't go fast, you know. Right. Yeah, so let me get back here. I'll be over there right now, OG. Yes, I'm gonna finish this guy's story. All right, brothers. All right, all right. You guys you guys speak French too? Not, me. Not you? You OG? Yeah. 
No, but that, that is a culture out here, though, huh? Oh, is that right? Yeah. For sure. For sure. I appreciate y'all talking to me. If y'all want to watch this, it's on Roughneck TV. R U F F N E C K TV. You can use my strap now. <laughs> Whatever. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm loving it. That's my first time in this community. It's my first time in Lafayette. Yeah, community, yeah for sure, for sure. You, do now, baby. Oh, Randy, you from here? I'm from Lafayette. Yeah. How, the how long you been here? Uh, 58 years. 58 years? Y'all look young out here. Hold up. <laughs> you 52? <laughs> I'm 58. 58? Two days after Christmas. Damn, it's crazy. <laughs> Mom, still here? That's a blessing, brother. All right, man. Yeah, all right, bro, bro. Yeah, for sure. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to get something to eat over here. I appreciate y'all chopping it up. It means a lot. On everything, I appreciate that. I'll probably catch some of the youngsters later on, get their stories and stuff. Hopefully, they do music and put them on. All right, y'all. All right, doggy. All right, babies. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Man, I'm out I'm 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 here by myself. In the trenches, bro, it takes a whole lot of webbles to do that, bro. You know, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has a G-Pass. Not everybody can walk around in the hood that ain't from with a camera and a microphone. You feel me? I'm doing this for you guys. So if you guys want me to keep going to every city, every state, you know what to do, man. Just like the video, bro. It don't cost nothing. You know, just like the video. Just like the video, man. Share it. Bourbon. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm asking right now. I'm asking right now. They said, where's, where's the best place to eat right here? The number one place to eat in this area right here. Ask the guy inside. He's going to say his spot. He's going to say his, his spot for sure. <laughs> All right. Y'all want to go inside? Oh, bourbon. Okay, bourbon. I'm going to go walk down here real quick, y'all. I'm asking when I go back inside right now. They got music on. I'm in the real south, guys. Bowden. Pay J, I got you. I got you, Pay J. I'm going to walk up here real quick. They said somebody just got... Somebody just got uh, shot, unfortunately, last night. Boudin, okay, Boudin, I got you. I'm gonna ask him when I go back. I'm gonna show y'all some of the community because for, for those of y'all who are not from here, this is a big difference from the West Coast. Big difference, look at this. Of course, this is poverty. <laughs> People live in these houses, but they can't afford to, to fix them up. So, the, you know, the houses are falling apart. So they're doing the best they can. You know what I'm saying? They're doing the best they can. You know, but people out here in Louisiana are some of the happiest people. They're okay with being, living like this and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They're good with it. When this is all you know, this is, this is when this is your comfort zone. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, New Orleans. I'm going to New Orleans. Y'all want to see the New Orleans vlog? Y'all want me to go to the worst hood in New Orleans? Let me know. I'll go to the most dangerous, dangerous section in New Orleans. Now, right here, it's kind of early. Uh, we're two hours ahead of the West Coast. So right now it's 1050 and California is 950. So it being 1050, nobody's really outside. But I came early for a reason. because I don't want to just pop up because I had no hood vlog set for, for right here. I didn't have nobody waiting for me. I just came and popped out. So when I come, when I come to a place and I don't have nobody waiting for me, I kind of come early just to break the ice. Because when people start waking up, I like to be here ready. So... They see me when they pull up, you know, I'm asking them where they from, you know, instead of me getting to somewhere in the evening, and everybody's outside and they're asking me where I'm from. So you got to kind of play it smart, kind of reverse the world, roll a little bit. Well, let's get to 100 views. Let's get to 100 views, viewers, and now I'll go inside one of these houses. Now, nah, I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, let's get to 100. If I get to 100, we will go inside. I appreciate y'all here with me, man. This is crazy, huh? That 
That's a preschool, so I don't want to record that. Yeah, you got when you do this type of work, bro. You got to play it smart. You got to play it smart, bro. When you do this type of work. Whew. Bro, I do not want to get caught in this area at night, bro. You already know hood, hood dudes. They ain't early because they be outside all night. But when they get up. I would not want to be in this area, G. Oh, 49. I almost got 50 live views. Come on, let's do 75 at least. Let's do 75 at least. Nah, bro. No, you know what? No one's ever given me a problem. Just because of how I go about it. I don't look, first of all, I don't look like a weirdo. You know, and then I come from where these people come from. So I know the language. <sighs> I know the language. I know, oh, there's some people right here. So I know the exact language. How you guys doing? I, I ain't gonna record y'all. I'm doing a vlog though. All the way from California. You guys do music? You guys don't do anything? All right, bro, thank you. You think I can ask you a question on camera? Huh? Who's in the car? Yeah, he's rap. Does he? Yeah, he rap. Yeah, bro. Hey, I got a viral YouTube channel, bro, bro. Yeah, he he's in, I ain't finna walk up on him, though. Yeah, he good. I'm good? Yeah, he All right, bro, bro. All right, gentlemen. Y'all seen hood vlogs on YouTube? That's me. You probably seen me before. I'm not the weird nigga. I'm the real nigga. All right, <laughs> All right gentlemen. Little hardworking brothers right there, man. What up, bro, bro? They, they say you do music? Is this the person I'm looking for? You mind if you shot your music out on camera? I got a viral YouTube channel, bro. I go around different states. I'm from Cali. This is my first time in Lafayette. So I go like all different states and shit and I give people a voice. I use my platforms. I get millions of views. I use my platform for artists, rappers, business owners. And then when I up this video, you get like thousands of new followers, nigga. If you got merch, your merch sales will go up. All that, my mama. You mind? Hell yeah, real nigga though. How you doing, brother? What's, what's your name and where we from? Where we at right now? Truman. Truman Laf Lafayette. So how long you been doing music for, brother? Forever? Where can I find your music at on, on the platforms? The Real Bill? You got any on the Bluetooth? I mean, y'all go follow The Real Bill on Instagram, man. He was a real one. He let he let me get him on camera, man. You know, this is what I do, bro. bro. I, I literally, I'm not from here. I, San, San Bernardino? San, oh, Kelly? Yes, he must got the Cali vibe then. Yeah, okay, they for sure. All my audience is from LA, California, so they for sure gonna tap in. I got that industry, uh, I got the industry viewers on my YouTube channel. So a lot of people from like the industry and shit, they be watching. And they for sure be tapping in, bro. My mama, nigga. Hell yeah. I appreciate you, bro, bro. Can we hear a little snippet? You got anything in the car? Or is you got some it's or is it unreleased? <laughs> Hell yeah, I appreciate you, my nigga. How is it like out here? It's cool. Is it dangerous? I'm, I've never been. It's my first time walking the soil of Lafayette. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm from LA, I'm from LA area, San Bernardino area. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. Huh? I'm vlogging. I came all the way out here to specific, specifically vlog. Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. Instagram, bro. Hit me up on Instagram or YouTube. I'll double back. If you want a personal vlog, I'll double back. I don't know. We get some footage of you in the studio or something. We can show them your Instagram too. They'll tap in right now. I got almost 60 live viewers. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get, I just started, so I'm trying to get up to 100. What's your Instagram? Roughneck TV, R U F F N E C K TV.
So it's not like like California where I like in Cali you can't just be walking down the street type shit. You know they're gonna bang on you. You got the wrong color on. Is it like that right here? Nah, it's all love, huh? It's like more personal type shit. Huh? If you got an issue with somebody, it's like personal. Okay. I love that. I love that out here, bro. I love it out here, man. For real though, facts. Yeah, it's red writing and it says Roughneck TV. It's in red writing, yeah. That's my new Instagram. They took my old Instagram, but my YouTube is up. It's the same, it's the same thing, Roughneck TV. That's where you're gonna see this one. You're gonna see you, you're gonna see you on, on Roughneck TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah, brother, I appreciate that, man. One more time, where, where can I find your music? The Real Bill. The Real Bill? T H E R E A L D A? Oh, duh. D A R E A L B I L L. The Real Bill. Got you, brother. I appreciate you, my nigga. I'm going to go around, try to get some more people and stuff like that. Show them the community. They're, they're interested right now. They never seen Louisiana like this. Huh? Hell yeah, brother. All right, my boy. Hit me, my nigga. Hit me. I'll be here. I'll be here for a couple days. All right, bro, bro. I'm actually gonna go back to the store and get some eat right here at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some eat and shit real quick. Yes, yeah, so I'll be here for a while. I'm gonna go walk this block real quick and then come back that way. All right, bro, bro. Yeah, for sure. Much love. For sure. For sure. See, now, now y'all see what I'm talking about, right? In Cali, the Bay Area, LA, even San Bernardino, you can't just walk like this. There's somebody over there. You can't just walk like this, bro. You, you know, you gotta have the right color. You gotta have you just. It's not. It's different, bro. I hear. That's goes to show you, bro. When you're in an all-black city, it's a lot of love, a lot of hospitality. It really like that, bro. Everything that goes on is all personal beef. All personal beef. There's some, there's some hoochie mamas right here. Y'all wanna see the hoochie mamas? I'll show y'all hoochie mama right now. Actually, I'm gonna get back to my car before someone jacks my dog. Sixty-three. All right, I'm gonna go back inside the store. I'm gonna go in the store right now. But look, these are the houses. Look, this is one. This is one that's kind of remodeled. Probably somebody from out of state with some bread came, bought it, remodeled it. <sighs> so you got some that are cool, and you got some that are not. Hello. So you got some that are not. You got a lot of these houses are actually business. From Rialto, California, bro, you already know, bro. Hey, who do you know that's putting the IE on the map, bro? I'm taking the IE nationwide. <sighs> San, San Bernardino. San Bernardino County, San Bernardino County. San Bernardino, baby. Right, right. See, everybody shows love out here. It's all hospitality, baby. Oh, look at the kitties. What up, Stockton? Big Stockton. Hey, drop your cities in the comments. Drop your cities. Hey, when I go back to Cali, when I go back to Cali in, in a few weeks, I'm going to go to every hood in Cali, bro. Every hood in Cali I'm going to go to. It is cheaper, bro. You can buy one of these houses for like 80000 50000 It's a big difference. Yeah, you can get, you get one of these houses. Like that one, it's probably fifty. Now it's probably 60, 70. You know what I'm saying? This little one right there is probably a good 40. It's different, bro. Drop your cities in the comments. 
that's about 50. That's about good. 70 because it's big. You know, and if you buy them new like this, renovated already, even though they're a little tinier, you probably could still pay like 50, 60. <laughs> bro, this is the heart, bro. This is the heart. Milwaukee, what up? 760, what up? Milwaukee in the house, 760 in the house, High Desert, Rialto in the house, Stockton in the house. We got anybody from LA? Oceanside, big, big 619. What up, Oceanside? Okay, we got a few San Diego's in here. That's what's up, bro. I rock with San Diego. San Bernardino, okay, we got San Diego and San Bernardino are neck and neck. Southside Chicago, I gotta come. What up, OG? All right. Southside, Chant, what up, Southside? What up, brother? All right, all right. And everybody's outside now. Look, y'all, stay watch. Don't go nowhere. Everybody's outside. Look. Everybody's outside. Don't go nowhere. It's crazy how these people are so loving, bro. They allow me to come and record in their hood, but don't even trip, bro. <laughs> Not everybody can do it. Not everybody can do it. I'm telling you, bro. Not everybody can do it, bro. First of all, you might have a scary dude. I don't want to do it. Second of all, if somebody does do it and gets pressed, they're not going to know how to react. It takes someone who knows how to react. So if you get pressed or banged on, or you got to know how to react to it. You got to know how to talk to people. Because you can't, you can't get banged on or pressed on, and then you try to bang and press back, and you don't get, you don't get dealt with. Easy. Linwood, what up, Linwood in the casa? I see you, Mr. Wood. Little wood in the building. What up, OG? How you doing, OG? All right, man. How you making? Good, 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 good. What happened to your leg, if you don't mind me asking? I got shot. You got shot? Yeah, sorry to hear that, but bro. OG got shot. Hello. <laughs> Hey, doggy, I got a dog right here for you. I was talking to the dog. What is my dog? Oh, it's a doggy? Hey, baby. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. You from right here, too? Ooh, I don't want to be on nobody's camera. You don't want to be on camera? Okay, I respect it. 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 Hell yeah. Everybody want to be on camera, you feel me? Dude, I'm going to put her on camera. They don't know I can record both ways with the camera. What's that baby boy? I'm going to go back in the store. I'm going to buy, uh, buy Black and Mild. So those of you who are new, I'm going to take you back inside the store. When I went in here earlier, I didn't have that many... Uh, Oh, you from Bob? What up, Bob? Jan? How you doing, brother? Good, good. I got something to show you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I talk to so many people in your community. I love it. Every Everyone is so nice. So, how do you want to start this? You, you live now? I'm live. I got a lot of viewers now. Check, check this out, bro. It's like this. You know, cowboy stew mix is what we specialize in. This is something that was served to the slaves. It's the breed of a, of a cow, the cow. So, we had to eat this because that's what was left for us. And this is what we specialize here, the cowboy stew mix. We're so really this was a part of a cow that was gave to the slaves. Yeah, I mean, cook it, make it, made it dinner. Now oh the, yeah, okay. Now the delicacy. Okay. And I want to show you how we prepare it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, they'll love that. Come on back, real quick. Let me uh, I want to show you before we get before you go and uh, show you how. So people come here, oh. man, for the last sixty years for this for this here. We serve it fresh, frozen, and cooked. Okay. Uh, where, this is what we're known for. People come to the states far and wide for here, man. So y'all, please, if y'all in Louisiana, I know I get hundreds of thousands of views. So, please come over here, Truman area, and mess with my boy right here. So this is called Ameriguts. Well, that's called guts. Ameriguts. 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 Uh, Hispanics they call it. They call it. Uh, I, I know a, a, a couple uh, Hispanics that also eat this. You know, it's well known in the Hispanic community also. So the mix is called. Cowboy stew, but it's the marigots. Okay. We have the kidney. The kidney, okay. And then 
this, this is this is some heart. I'm gonna grab a grab a heart. Now back. Yeah, the food is, 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 you know it's good. This is Louisiana, but this is what the slaves used to eat. This is what's left over of the cow. Now it's a delis, delicacy. You know what I'm saying? So you already know it's going to be good. Um, so, so is, is the kidney? Get it to many places here, man. Most places come come for us to get it if they bulk, you know. Yeah. I mean, like uh, Super Bowl, we got Mardi Gras happening this, this part of the season. Mardi Gras right around the corner, right? Man, we, you know, see people uh, sell these stuff for funny smells, sick, sick, sick order. Mm-hmm. It's probably this mix. It's, it's one of the things that we specialize in. We now. Uh, really is beyond these uh these uh. Can I get the border, you, you know, man. We got people mm -hmm. out in, in Houston, Atlanta. Okay, okay, so it's a slow cook? It's slow cook. Does that make it more like tender and juicier? Yeah. Slow yes, cook? Yes. So what's important to the long to cook is, is the marigats and the tripe. You heard tripe before? No. Get out of here, man. Well, that was my first time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm from out west. You already know we don't hear about nothing. We out here, man. Lafayette, Louisiana. We in the Truman area. We at the oldest black-owned uh, store. It's been owned by blacks for 50 years? Uh, like 60 years. 60 years. Since 1957. 1957. This been black-owned since 1957. You know, this shop, you know, this shopping center, man. You know, we sell everything here. Uh, at one time... To get water from here. It was one place that had water before we go to roads for the homes and pray them there and get water from this place. Okay. This one, 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 one place that had a hot water well. Uh, you know, we just, this is how it is. Black Souls close to the, to the end of things, the highways. People, other people didn't want to live close to that. They people far out, right? Exactly. So, that's the place where it's always in, always to live. It's one of the every here. Interesting. Uh, so, just a Man, that was passed on that one of the reasons I purchased the store so it don't get lost, man. We have a lost culture, man. Exactly. You know, we, we, we're brought out by other, by other races and changing our neighborhoods with identity. In order to have hats in, in here, on, you'll see t shirts. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, it's not that, have food. It's food. That, there's a specialty that we have. And we need more people like you around here. So, huh? I'm not, around the world in general. I'm not trying to sell out to other cultures, you know. I want to give my people what they want here. Exactly. It's easy, man. If I get it, if I get it, it came out of, out, out, out of influence. <clears throat> but look, this is this, uh, this is the, this is the, see what's happening. Right. Yeah, we, we filming right now. Now you good? I just want to let you know. 118, man. Uh, let me just cut it into pieces. It can be cut pretty quick. And what is, what is this right here? This is the tripe. Okay. What part is that? It's, a, it's the lining of the cow. The lining of the cow? Okay, got you. The lining of the stomach. You know, the, the kidney cuts breaks down pretty quick, man. So we'll cut it into little bigger pieces. Oh, it's the and all And all this is a slow cook? Two and a half hour slow cook? Two and a half hour. Uh, medium high cook. Got you. You don't add any water, man. All you, all you add is onions, bell peppers. Onions, bell peppers, okay. You got something that's prepared already? Prepared already. Ooh -wee. What was your address again? Somebody asked. Yeah, it's 300 Thornton Street. 300? 300. 300 Thornton. Oh, 300 Thornton. 300 Thornton, Lafayette, Louisiana. 300 Lafayette, Louisiana.
appreciate your mindset, brother. You know, you, you buying this, keeping it going, instead of losing it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's that's important. It's very important. Um, so, so, you, so you better uh, album on the other side, in the blue, in the bone shop? Right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going to slow cook it for two and a half hours. Somebody on my live said you got to cook it slow. But yeah, he... He's gonna cook it slow. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Trust me. Yeah, three hundred. The address is three hundred. Yeah, you know, man. Um, we, we're going through a, a, a growth stage. Um, just transforming and, and getting ready to, to know to know me. Right. And, uh, do a lot of things. I go. To, I go to prisons and, and train young men. Oh, interesting. So you go in prisons. And you train them to cook? No, I train them to work for the government. Train okay. I'll uh, uh, train OSHA and form the training. Oh, that's, like that. that's dope. So, um, that's dope. Beyond, beyond, I, I really plan on doing this for my school. Right. Because I'm here for the most part right now and that's what I'm doing. But uh, I'll also, what I do is go to prisons and train guys in different, different aspects of training. And I, I hire other people that have myself. I have a trainer. So, you know, also in the community, guys can hear who you see, see the trainers. So, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's more than just a, a store. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a shop, it's a people from a lot of people. Um, man, to be honest with you, my balls are black, my electricians are black, my buildings are black. Most of all, all people, most of all people are black. That's the money. Not because I'm anti anything. You know, I had a uh, Caucasian wife in the past. So I'm, I'm all black, but I'm anti anything else. Right. And, uh, I just spend my money with people who need the most. Right? Exactly. Uh, so with that said, I try to keep my money in my community as much as possible. Exactly. I think that's important, too. You got to keep spending your money with people that look like us. Yeah, it, you feel it, me? Because, you know, why not, though? Right. Why not? That way you could stop the struggle. You could stop everything. Because if I spend money with you every day, you're going to be on instead of spending money with this man, making him on, and he, he's not going to spend it back with us. Yeah, exactly. If I buy some from you every day, when I come up with something, you're going to buy some from me, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. how it works. Uh, take care of the community. They don't even come back in and get something they need, you know, in the first body. Uh, yeah, support, support, you know, support black businesses. We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to be more financially And this is why this is why I do this, OG. I, I do this out of the kindness of my uh, kindness in my heart. Man, yeah, man. I don't charge nobody gas. I don't charge nobody money. I go from state to state. I'm, I'm about it. Yeah. Man, so you, you know, definitely you be full when you leave for sure. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. You got two other stores. Got a few other places I like to recommend. You got Sids. Sids. You been to Sids? No, I haven't been to Sids. So Sids store is about a about a quarter, quarter mile on the block. Okay. He's uh, also a corner uh, grocery store. He's a uh, well, well known to you. Okay. Well known. Uh, you get some good stuff from here, man. Also, have a Laura's too. Laura's? You, that's one of the places I want to recommend you to. This one of the uh, well, well known um, food eating places in the community. So, they Laura's and Sid's. Check those two out. Okay. We recommend the people to definitely, uh, after you have a bite with us. Okay. Out. Okay, for sure, for sure. I'm pretty sure they refer people your way too. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's all about, but you know, here's, uh, here's our combo students. Um, Man, you got your marigots, you got your heart, you got your tripe, and you have your kidney. This mm. is what it is, man. Which piece of meat is a heart? The heart is, is, is a, little, it's a little thicker. Okay. You have your kidney, it's a little, it's, uh, a little, so, little softer? A little softer. Okay. I never had a heart. You're about, you're about to get some right now, man. This is your marigot, and this is your tripe. Ooh, and that's that's a Creole cowboy suit. Okay, got you. That's other that's other that's other cowboy suit, but this is it right here, bro. Okay, appreciate that. Yeah, man. Yes, so sir. We'll warm some up for us and get us going. Okay, we'll be outside. Yeah, we'll be outside. Appreciate that. It means a lot. Not everybody gets to see this. Is my first time seeing this. You know what I'm saying? So it means a lot to me. Touch my heart. It might not mean like it or seem like it, but it really does touch my heart. You know? Yeah. Cause where I'm from, you don't get this. Yeah, this is this is authentic. Authentic. We're authentic. Slaves had to eat, we're forced to eat this. Mm-hmm. The guts, we're forced to eat this, you know, so. 
it's more than the grocery store. It's more than the coffee shop. I'm not losing his coffee. You know? Exactly. It, it, it could have been a smoke shop. It could be anything. This is more important for us, though. Food. Exactly. Huh? Oh man, this food looks good. I can't. No, if you don't want to. No. Yeah. That's what he was telling me. He's been here ten months. Ooh. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm gonna be here for lunch. I'm gonna be right here for lunch, waiting. Yeah, <laughs> that's my first time out here too in Lafayette. Uh -huh. I'm from California, so uh -huh. I'm enjoying the hospitality. You go ahead, man. I don't want to hold you up. Take that back to California. Yeah. Show, show, show them, bro. yeah, they're gonna see. That's a good man, bro. They're gonna see it's real take, culture out here. Yeah, take care of the community. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's what it's all about. People uh -huh. like that. All right, my brother. All right, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Natural, lay down. See that y'all got be y'all got behind the scenes of how this shit goes and how it's cooked and how it's chopped up. Whatever, bro. Hey, do do the vlog, do the do the vlog on the boy right here. Yeah, I go, I go viral on YouTube. You yeah. ever watch her vlogs? Yeah. You ever watch her vlogs? You ever watch her vlogs on YouTube? Uh, nah, you do music. Me? Yeah. I, one of my friends do. You want to promote your Instagram? I get thousands of views. They gonna you gonna get follows right now. <laughs> we gonna promote, it's my boy right here. Look. Look, follow me. My Instagram. My Instagram. Let me zoom in. Okay, Crash C R A S H Cutter C U T T K U T T Crash Cutter. In my in my partner's music, I think I think you just did a song. I don't know if you dropped it yet. I love it out here, bro, in Lafayette. It's a vibe. I don't think you dropped it yet, though. Go follow him. Oh, underscore Ziggy three. Yes, sir. Go follow his partner real quick, man. Show some love. YouTube. Underscore Ziggy three. You got the YouTube? What's the YouTube? We gonna get the YouTube real quick. That's one of his songs that he dropped. K T O oh, K T K Ziggy. K T K Ziggy. Shots off. Yes, sir. Go tap in. I got almost a hundred, a hundred live viewers right now, so they go, they gonna start tapping in for sure. Thank you, brother. You know, I drove this. I drove this all the way from California to do videos. All the way from California. Low profile, low profile tires and everything. That's how much. Yeah, I got me. A, I got here. Yeah. My little guard dog. My girlfriend live in California. What part? San Diego. Oh, San Diego. Shout out San Diego. I got like 10 people watching right now from San Diego. They just dropped their cities in the comments right now. Yeah, that's what's up, bro, bro. Go follow my boy, man. Hell yeah, I came from California. I'm doing hood vlogs. Huh? It runs. It runs. This motherfucker quick. This one was quick, but I drive it slow because I got them wheels. Look what, look what happened. But you can't tell, though. I just got to cut it. I just got to cut that motherfucker. It's, it's quick, bro. It's my baby. I had it for three years. You know, all, all off of YouTube, bro. That's why I tell people, like, YouTube is like, we can eat off of YouTube. Niggas. Oh, YouTube channel. Char started, bro. You know, I started with 145 subscribers. It was an old channel that I remember my password to. And now I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers, like 22,000. Bro, go start it, bro, and just start doing little stuff like this, just vlogging things, bro, and you'll start, like, seeing what catches. Oh, God. For sure, Roughneck TV. R-U-F-F-N-E-C-K. Yeah, Roughneck TV. All right, bro, bro. Yeah, it's YouTube, YouTube, and Instagram. You're going gonna to see yourself in this one. I'm going to upload it. Actually, it's live. So once I end it, it's going to be uploaded automatically to YouTube. I'm going to put my brother on your channel. They like to watch cars and stuff. I was just in Houston. I did some car in Houston like yesterday. You cool, man. You got to do all the hood vlogs. I do all types of stuff, bro. You, you'll love it. You'll love the channel. Yes, sir. Just subscribe right now. Roughneck TV. All right, bro. For sure. I appreciate you, man. Hell yeah. Hey, is, is legal out here? Uh, no, huh? I, people still do it, though. I got to find some. <laughs> All right, bro, bro. Man, I love it, bro. I know y'all, I know I sound like a broken record. But, man, bro, I'm not used to this. I'm not from the South. I'm not from the South, bro. I'm not from here. 
I'm used to Asians owning businesses, which is nothing against it. Hispanics, Arabs, a couple blacks here and there, and a couple Caucasians. There's nothing against it at all. Nothing against it. But when you come to the South, you're going to see firsthand everything is black owned. Black owned, black owned, black owned, black owned, support black owned, support Hispanic owned, Chicano, Latino. Support anything and everything minority owned, bro. Trust me, bro. That's how I start. We want to make a change. That's how we got to start. Bro, I'm going to, why buy something from someone who doesn't look like you when you could buy the same stuff from someone who looks like you? Because when you start your business, the person who looks like you is going to buy right back from you. Come on, man. For reals, though. Facts. Big facts. All right, bro, bro. You have a good day. All right. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna, y'all wanna go somewhere else? Y'all want me to end this and go to a, a, another section? I gotta get my food first. But let me know, man. Seventy-five views. I gotta get a hundred. I need twenty. Share this video. I get, give me a hundred live views, and I go to a, another spot. I go to another spot and I'll start recording like around twelve or one. Unless you want me to go to uh, Baton Rogue right now. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Dub Honcho, I appreciate that, my, my dude. It means a lot, bro. You know, it's all from the heart. See, one thing about Roughneck TV, bro, I'm not doing this for clout. I don't need the clout. I'm not doing this to to, to, to be on. Like, I, I don't need to. When I started my YouTube channel, bro, I took the money out of my pocket for you guys, bro, 100%. I can't make it up, bro. I see my first couple of hood vlogs did good. I'm like, you know what? My subscribers... They want to see. They want to see the world, bro, and that's why I'm here for it, bro. I don't charge nobody nothing, bro. That's that's how real it, it is, bro. I don't charge like that. I don't charge now. Why I say like that is if I'm coming from far, I'm gonna charge you some gas, but I'm not gonna charge you for my services. I'm not gonna charge you to edit. I'm not gonna charge to record. I'm not gonna charge for fuel. That's out of the love of my heart. That's out of the love of my heart, bro. Period. Because I feel like we need a voice. We need someone, people like me. And other vloggers to go to different areas and give people a voice, bro. Because they don't get this. People from Louisiana don't get this. They don't get this, bro. Nobody comes from California and and and, and vlog them and give them a voice. Period. Point blank. Facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. I appreciate you, man. You already know. Let's read some of the comments. TCK, love what you're doing, OG. The world needs to see other cities. All the same stuff, just different look. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. Go to Arkansas. Joseph Johnson, I got you. Keep it rocking. Dub Honcho, I got you. Born Supreme, San Fernando Valley. Support Black. That's right, EBK. For sure, EBK. Shout out to this man right here putting in that work. For sure, shout out you, EBK. San Diego. Kidney is fire, but you have to make sure you boil it good before you cook it. Hey, I never had kidney, but we're going to have it today. Uh, G'd up beats. Real spit. The cooking show, no gloves. Man, we in Louisiana, man. As soon as you cook it, heat and fire and hot temperature kills germs. So even if you did have germs on his hand, as soon as you cook it, it's gonna it's gonna kill the germs. We know that. We've been around for a long time. Uh, watching from Paris, France. And you all the way in Paris? Boyle Heights. Yeah. But all right, OG, appreciate that. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for my plate to get warmed up. You married, man? No, I'm single. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. He said you heard him. As soon as I try that food, I ain't going to want to leave after I'm done. That's how you know it's real bomb cooked food. He said, are you married? I'm like, nah, I'm single. He said, well, you ain't going to leave after you try the food. I have the best hood vlog channel on YouTube. There's a lot of hoods in Stockton. You ever come this way? I got you. Who, who wrote that? Who wrote that, G? I'm going to take you outside this, this corner real quick. I'm going to take you to this corner real quick. I'm going to take you out of one more corner, and I'm going to end this and get my plate. And uh, I'm going to go to Baton Rouge and uh, New Orleans. We going crazy. Y'all want to go see where NBA Young Boys from and Lil Wayne is from? Tucktown, Arizona, Phoenix, Cartel City. Oh yeah, I need some pressure, bro. I ain't got. It. It's not legal out here. It's not. 
that gas is not legal in Texas, it's not legal in Louisiana, it's not legal like in Florida, it's not legal like in Mississippi, I think, Alabama, you know, they still got it, I'm trying to find it. This street right here is sketchy because you get stuck down the street. Yeah, I'm gonna go to New Orleans, bro. I'm gonna go to New Orleans and do a live video there. I'm gonna start doing lives a lot. I'm gonna start doing lives because it honestly takes away from the editing and all that stuff. And a live video is just more authentic, it's more genuine. For sure, 100%. Oh yeah, I'm walking down here. You know what's crazy? I'm the type of person to go to the hood instead of stay away from the hood. That's the type of person I am. I go to it instead of away from it. Ooh, they had that pressure in the car. Ooh. When she when she passed by me, yep, and she's going to the store. Look. Look, I smelled it. Whoever's in that car drove right past me and I smelled nothing but pressure, gas. Utah, shout out Utah. Y'all enjoying these vlogs, man? I got you, bro. I'm going to hurry back and hook California. You already know. I'm going to hook California up. They're going to the store. I'm going to go hurry up and catch up because they had... I smelled it, bro. She was probably hotboxing. I'm going to ask right now. I smell. They're going right to the store to get them uh, wraps. I appreciate y'all watching, man. It means a lot. We on Carver. We on Carver and Thornton. 300. This address is 300 Thornton Avenue in Lafayette, Louisiana. If you're in Evan, Louisiana, come to 300 Thornton. 300 Thornton, Lafayette, Louisiana. Hello. Get you the best, the best, the best, the best black, black cooked food. All right, y'all, man. I'm going to see y'all live again. I'm going to go another side of town. I appreciate y'all watching, man. I do want to kind of keep this going, but I don't really see nobody out here. There's somebody right here, man. I'm going to keep it going. Should I keep it going? Should I keep this live going for 30 more minutes? Let me know. Keep this live going. I'll keep it going for 10 more minutes. Top it up with some people. I'm gonna eat and come back. I'll eat and come back. I got you. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go to another side. Another side of the hood. Cause you know there's different sides and shit like that. So I'm gonna eat and then for sure I'll go tap in with another side of, of Lafayette. Give y'all another perspective. He said there's a couple other spots that got good food. But you're you know, and and when I come back live, see here's the thing, look. Make sure you don't go nowhere because when I come back live, it's going to be a little later. So everybody's going to be outside. That's where all the action is going to be. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see all the, the dudes come out. You're going to see all the girls. Everybody's, you know, they're going to, the drink is going to set in their system. They're going to be talkative. You know, when, when, when you in the hood and people start drinking, you know, they a little close off, standoffish. But when that, when that drink hit, you know, people talk. You know, they say a drunken sailor speaks a sober mind. <laughs> So I appreciate y'all, man. Roughneck TV, man. Tap in. Go binge watch some of the content. Lafayette, Louisiana. We're going crazy. Stay tuned for the New Orleans and the Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge or Baton Rouge. Can't, I can't pronounce that shit. But we're going to go crazy, man. For real facts. I'm going to start doing lives more and go crazy. Yeah, go grab a beer, bro. Go get a beer. I'm going to get one, too. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Yeah, I can talk to you real quick. Huh? Yeah, I can talk to you on camera real quick. What about what? I'm just, I'm just asking how the city is. It's my first time here. It's my first time on Lafayette. I just want to get a perspective on how it is out here in the culture. I'm all the way from California. Oh, I'm not, I'm not from here. You're good? Okay, where are you from? I'm out here, but I'm not, I'm not from here. Okay, you from the state? Yeah, you know, um, never town. Okay, okay, for sure. I, I respect that. All right, brother. All right. All right. See, now everybody wants to be a camera, and you just got to respect it. The best thing, if you want to do these type of vlogs, is don't get a camera, throw it in somebody's face. Ask them politely if they shut it down. There's always somebody, definitely for sure, 100% willing to be on camera like this. You know what I'm saying? So, 
So we, people hunking the horn and everything. So we going crazy, man. See, real, realness. I love y'all, man. Yeah, go binge watch, but Damien, I appreciate you, G. We out here, man.